Hi, YouTube. <laughs> it's me. It's me again. I thought I'd make a quick video. My sister and I, we've been trying to work on our channel. We're working together, and we've been loading up videos with my cell phone, but God, they, they, it's taken hours and hours and hours to load up a video, so I don't know when we're going to get that video posted, but if I make them, I make videos on this laptop, it, it doesn't take as long, but we're going to have to go back to the drawing board and figure out a better way to uh, upload vi videos, or maybe we just need to make a bunch of them and <laughs> load them up and take three and four days. But we'll figure it out, but bear with us. I wanted to talk about this book that my friend Harold was telling me about. He has two, um, the one in part one and two, and when I ordered it on Amazon, they only just had the one. I guess it's a combination of one and two, but this is the name of it. Becoming Gods, Interdimensional Mind, Earth Changes, and the Quickening, UFOs, Their Origins, and Intentions. And this is uh, Kazekiel, as received by James Gilly, Gilliland, Gilliland. And he's been uh, channeled by uh, Ezekiel is being channeled through him. And this is a very, very interesting book. And it, it goes on into so many different chapters and almost everything you had a question about uh, past lives and the, just any, it's just everything. And I will just call out some of the chapters. The first section is called Journey into Christ Consciousness. And he has about 20 subtitles under this, but I'm going to read some of them. One of them is So You Want to Be a Christ. With the light comes responsibility. Healing negative influences. Chakras and subtle bodies. Centers of Consciousness, Survival, Sex, and Power, The Next Four Bands, um, God is a Feeling. That chapter is a really amazing because when you think about it, if we can't see or touch, I mean, we could feel God. I feel God in the wind and this and that, but we, we can't see God. So God is a feeling. And the second section is a denied past, present, and future. The spell of the enslavers. In the name of religion and medicine. The life of Jesus before Christ, B.C. The last prayer of Jesus. A fantasy called death. And that's a good chapter too because death is a fantasy. And outrageous understandings. The last one is, is talking about the uh, outrageous understanding beyond belief. It goes on to talk about a hollow earth, the constants, UFOs, past, present, and future, and Andromedan alternative, manifesting a contract, and in conclusion. But to me, this book is talking about becoming a god. It's kind of like the um, the butterfly, how it starts out as a caterpillar and is in a co cocoon and doesn't look too much like nothing. You know, it's just a, a worm. And, and then he spins a cocoon around himself and I forget how many days he stays in that. But it's probably not a comfortable feeling and it may be painful but they have to stay in their co cocoon and you can't force it out the the uh the insect will die if you try to hurry that process along so 
that's what we are as humans. We are becoming gods, and it's a process. And I don't mean it. I don't know how many times we have to reincarnate. Uh, I don't even know nothing about that. But I believe, no, I don't believe. I know that I am becoming God. Um, I, I just, you know, I'm always just happy about a book. But this one book, I, I just want to thank Harold for you know, sharing this book with me, and I just, I guess I need to follow through, but I'm jumping, jumping from chapter, different chapters, and things that interest me, and sometimes I don't read like that, I I, I don't digest my food like that, it's kind of like eating a meal a certain way, I, I just don't do that, sometimes I might want to eat my dessert first, and so I don't know, but this is a good book. And, oh, I, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm getting ready to write uh, another book. And I don't know what the title is. I'm, I Sometimes I don't even get a title till the book is almost finished. But this book is about my life and the many paranormal adventures I've had in my life. I made quite a few videos about them, but I just haven't written a book about it. And I said that I I I, I that ought to be pretty interesting. I'm gonna take my time and write it, and it's it comes in waves. That's the way my writing does. When I'm burdened about something, then I start writing, and that's just the way I do. But I'm working on that book, and I I should be finished with it by December, hopefully. And I don't even know how long it's going to be, but it'll probably be a long, maybe 250 pages, something like that. But that's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to talk about paranormal things that have happened in my life. And I don't even know how I'm going to start. I have started out in the beginning, my first paranormal event, uh, adventure. I don't know. I haven't got it clue. But if I think about it, I guess I'll just write and then organize it later and talk about different adventures. And that those are different paranormal adventures may be a separate chapter. That's probably what it's going to be. But things that have happened in my life, most people won't, wouldn't believe it. And sometimes I have to go back and say, did that really happen? And then Thank God for the most part of it, there were witnesses. My youngest son, he's a witness to most of the things that happen. And my oldest brother and my sister, they, they know about different things that have happened to me that were strange. Even my mother, she she didn't ignore me, but she she didn't argue with me about what what was going on with me because she knew I had this ability as a, a psychic and, well, back in the church, they call it a prophet, prophet, uh, prophet, prophetess. And there were times I was so young. And when I would come home from school, I would just, some days I'd be walking home and I'd be crying. I'd be crying before I could get in the house. And she just wanted me to go to church and I didn't want to go because I knew my spirit was heavy. I said, Mama, I don't feel like going to church. She said, no, we're going to go. And somehow or another, when I get there in the presence and this invoking and setting the mood, I would just scream. That's all I could do was scream because it was such a burden. Prophecy was a burden on me because it was a sad feeling. I, I, I can't... And, yeah, because when after I left the church, I still had that spirit on me. Just oh man, there's so many stories I could tell you about, and I just have to. I don't know. I have no idea. But I I I know that it's real, and I know my situation. And everybody is different, and we all have these psychic abilities. 
But a lot of us don't want to slow down to watch uh, the abilities grow. We kind of want to step on them and don't want to deal with it. And it can be scary sometimes, but I, I just don't want to be afraid of that because I, I'm old enough to know what it is. And here, and here lately, we've been having some uh, activity here in the apartment and my friend has been busy working on it and uh, commanding that these spirits go. And he did get the spirit out of the closet and <laughs> somehow the spirit, uh, somehow another spirit has gone into the dining room, under the dining room table. So I just kind of talk to it. I, I'm not just loud with it, but I just say you can stay in here or since you want to be in the house. I don't know what you're doing, but you can stay in here as long as you're quiet and stay out of my room and out of my closet. That's what I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a, it's not an evil spirit. It's just, you know, it's there. That's, that's what it is. I know it's there. And, uh, I don't know. I'm not afraid of it, but we'll, we'll deal with it as long as it stays in its place and don't wake me up in the middle of the night and, uh, Sonny doesn't get, <laughs> she doesn't get upset with it, so we're going to be fine. But anyway, I'm coming up on 11, uh, 12 minutes, and I'm going to upload this video real quick. And maybe tomorrow I could get this video my sister and I made today. But anyway, good night, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.